very good morning to Sonandal. So today uh, we are going to see about the uh, advantages of per unit system. So how uh, we are going to calculate this per unit. So what are the main advantages of um, calculating the per unit system are? So the, the thing, thing is that if you are going for the per unit system, your circuits are simplified. Circuits uh, in the sense, uh, um, say for example, there are uh, um, in the power system, if you take the power system, uh, there is uh, generating uh, uh, generators, then transmission lines and as well as the transformers and the loops. So here, everything is in some other rating. Say for example, your generator is in megawatt, your uh, transmission line uh, it is in uh, kilowatt uh, sorry kilo, uh, kilovolts then your transformer is in mva or kva then your load is in uh, okay so uh, in some watts so there is a, a change in the units from generator transmission line transformer like anything okay so uh, that uh, the for, uh, if you calculate each and everything, uh, say for example, if you are converting this megawatt into kilowatt scale, then again this transmission line is kilowatts. Then again, uh, you have to um, okay uh, transform your transformer rating into megawatt uh, um, MBA to some other kilowatt amperes. So like that. So it is very difficult. It is very difficult uh, uh, for us to calculate. Say, for example, a single bus, uh, a single system. Say, for example, one generator, one, uh, two transmission lines, and one transformer and one load. That you can easily do. But uh, in power system, it will be not like that. Okay, it will be varying always. Okay, so it will be varying always in the sense of, um, say, for example, uh, the generating stations may be more. Okay, 40 generating stations might be there, then transmission line might be there, then your transformer uh, uh, will be the mode, then uh, your loads are more. So, there uh, the complexity uh, of the problems comes. So, for that purpose, what we are doing is we are converting this uh, um, normal, like um, say for example, um, uh, normal ratings that is megawatt or kilovolt. Uh, and the MBA to some common system that is called your per unit system. So, so if you go for a per unit system, the circuits are simplified. Okay. Next, uh, same ranges of voltage. Uh, say, for example, um, EHV to distribution and lead. So, uh, if you change that into per unit system, it, it will come into the common scale. Okay. Same range of voltage from your, your uh, extra high voltage to your distribution and utilization system. Next step, per unit values are same for all machines regarding their size. Okay, say for example, whatever the size may be, 100 MBA or 1000 MBA or 10,000 MBA. So whatever the size might be, the per unit values are same for all the machine. If you convert it to a yeah, common scale. Next is per unit reactants for both the primary and secondary side remains the same per unit reactance for both primary and secondary side remains the same. Okay. Next, uh, this method is ideal for eliminating ideal uh, transformer in the circuit. Okay. So, if you um, go for uh, per unit system, you can eliminate the ideal transformer. Otherwise, uh, you need to consider the transformer as an ideal transformer and again you need to okay, uh, do the calculation. Next, uh, square root three factor in three phase calculation will be uh, eliminated. Okay, so um, as you know, like uh, you already did uh, some problems in your power systems. So always you should remember when you are going for three phase circuit, uh, you need to um, go for square root three. Okay, so if you forget that whatever the calculation, okay, so whatever the calculation uh, you you have done, that will be. Um, will be uh, uh, wrong. Okay, so that uh, thing uh, it is there. Next, uh, per unit value same for both the star and delta connection of the tra transformer. Okay, so if you consider the star and delta connection of the transformer, this per unit values will be the same. Okay, and manufacturer specified 
values mostly in the parliament okay so if you read the um, okay uh, that uh, uh, generator if you are buying a new generator if you read that uh, manual so that they will be mentioning in the parliament so easily you can okay calculate uh, so the, the generator is in this one unit transmission line in this one unit like that easily calculation will be easy okay so next uh, per unit values are same for both the single phase and three phase transformers okay so so sorry uh, both the single phase and three phase per unit values are same for both single phase and three phase next uh, multiplication of two per unit system okay this also here uh, uh, also here per unit okay so multiplication of two per unit is also one uh, also one per, uh, per unit okay so that is uh, these are the main advantages of using this per unit 